This week, college students all across the UK uh, are looking to universities for clearing, and that is trying to see if they can get a place at a university where they didn't quite make it, but um, they want to see if they can still get in and see if there's any places left over. I wanted to meet Chris Wilde, who is a senior lecturer uh, in politics at St Mary's in London. And, uh, and, and each day people have been writing to and, and phoning uh, Chris up and saying, hey, can I come on your course? And uh, so I wanted to find out if you're right on the edge and it looks like your grades are almost good enough, like what sort of things are our lecturers looking for to, to knock you over there to actually get you onto the course that you would love to do? Sure. I mean, th there are a number of things. I mean, we do look at your metrics. Uh, so say, for example, uh, you, you didn't quite get the grades that you wanted, and let's say you got B, C, E, uh, but, but your E was in maths and your B was in geography or politics or history, then obviously I'm going to sort of pay close attention to that to come onto my course, which is politics, because you don't really need the kind of skills associated with maths in order to succeed in a politics degree. And, and if you're getting a slightly higher grade in kind of, you know, your one key subject, then, then that's the kind of thing I would sort of pay attention to uh, at, at first sight, uh, which will help with borderline cases if you don't, say, have the absolute number of points. It's kind of looking at where those points are, if you like, where you've achieved the highest number of points. But also more broadly on the phone, uh, I, I, I'm looking for, I, I'm just trying to get a sense of the candidate, uh, which is obviously very difficult to do over the phone, but there are sort of, you know, a few basic points. Uh, uh, are, are you enthusiastic about studying? Have you, have you looked at my program on the website before you've called me? Uh, uh, do you know a little bit about it, as much as could be expected on the basis of the website, showing an interest? Uh, do you have sort of relevant experience? And I don't necessarily mean, you know, having worked for a major corporation, although that could be true of a, of a mature student. Uh, more kind of you know, how, what is your interest in my subject politics? Why are you interested in politics? And, and, and how has that interest manifested itself outside of the classroom? Uh, are you a member of a political party? Are you a member of a movement? Why are you a member of that movement? And, and telling me about that and, and giving, giving me a sense of who you are as a person as a result of doing that. Do you, what is it, who are you looking for? What, what is it that, what, why do you want one person so, over another? I, I, I want students who demonstrate a willingness to learn. Yeah, they don't have to have a technical knowledge of my subject area. Uh, that's, I, I'll teach you that. Yeah, but you have to want to learn what I'm going to teach you and you have to be able to learn what I'm going to teach you. So I'm looking for enthusiasm. I'm looking in my discipline, particularly someone who has critical capacity, someone who, who, who doesn't know the answers, but like likes to ask the right questions. Uh, I uh, and and uh, is is able to demonstrate how that has manifested in their life to date, particularly beyond their A level grades. That's good. Okay, so if there's little things like, um, what about like the way someone is personally? Do you ever ask, you know, do you play the? Uh, they say, oh, I've been learning the violin for fifteen years, or I, um, you know, I have six dogs, or something like that. Are there any little? things like that that you're like oh that's interesting yeah I'm gonna put this person down because I want to meet them <laughs> um nothing like that as such I mean I tend to try when I'm on the phone to get to know the candidate um I know where they're from perhaps and I, I, I can try and try and get them to relate to my discipline in a way that's comfortable to them so that could be talking about politics in the local area where they grew up or uh, a popular one uh, today has been the politics of uh, the national statistical regrading uh, with, with a vast majority of candidates having been graded down. Talking about the politics of that, trying to get away from the individual experience and more into kind of the implications of national policy. Because these are the kind of skills for politics in particular that are really good. It's wonderful to have an opinion on a, on a political matter, and indeed you should, but a politics student will be looking to maybe step back from that personal opinion and separate it from an analysis of the problem, yeah? Uh, and that's a process, not a knowledge thing, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you don't necessarily have to have the, the knowledge, as I say, if you had all of the knowledge, why come and study politics, yeah? Uh, you've already done it. It's more kind of having that curiosity of mind and 
thinking about things in a certain way that are going to, the kinds of skills that are going to lend you very well to succeeding in a politics degree. And what don't you like? What are you like? Oh, no, no. Um, uh, the inability to construct coherent sentences, um, using the word like at the end of every sentence. Oh. Um, there's no big no-nos uh, other than the sort of no-nos that you would sort of associate with any normal Human. conversation with normal individuals. If you... <laughs> Thank you very much. That's really good to know. I hope that is insightful to uh, anyone who's going through any of this stuff at the minute. And uh, I wish you all the best of luck on your new degree. Thank you. And thank you, Chris. You're welcome.